What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on an interesting topic how to cultivate gratitude oh my god life is so bad life is terrible life is so miserable oh my god i don't want to get up in the morning i feel like dying i feel like as if i'm dead why am i breathing i should die right oh my goodness so much negativity around us inside outside how to be grateful how to cultivate gratitude oh my goodness it's very difficult is it let's see is it difficult then how to make it easy all right there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website or if you want me to uh, reply you in whatsapp then that number is also there below okay or if you want that i reply you in your mail then please mail me accordingly and yes before i begin and today i must say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you cultivate this unique quality of gratitude okay and thereby let's start to understand why this quality is very uh, important very essential for us why this is like a foundation for us in anything in matters of our material life in matters of our spiritual life career marriage relationships anything it is gratitude is highly essential because they say that the grateful people are the most happiest should i repeat the grateful people are the most happiest it is not the happiest who are grateful should i repeat it is not the happiest who are grateful it is the grateful who are happy that means if you have gratefulness if you have gratitude inside you will naturally be happy yes because what is gratitude gratitude is basically the feeling that i have much more than i deserve <laughs> i have much more than i deserve yes then you feel that you have so many things in life yes even if you even if a beggar has 10 rupees and he is grateful then he is much 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 more rich than a billionaire who has a trillion dollars but is starving inside yes so our externals do not define our internals yes should i repeat our externals do not define the amount of gratitude which we have because there are many people in this world who have so many things but they don't have gratitude that means they always feel that there's something lacking there's something missing yes they are less 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 and if you go to the scriptures in the crest jewel of all the vedic scriptures which is known as the amalam puranam the shiromani of all the scriptures in the shrimad bhagavatam lord brahma the four headed brahma who is the creator of these 14 planetary systems this universe as they say brahma anda the egg of the universe lord brahma prays to lord vishnu in the shrimad bhagavatam tate nukampam susumikshamano bhunjana eva atmakritam bibakam ऋदवाग्वपूर् विदधम नमस्ते जीवे तयो मुक्ति पदे सदाय भाग वंस मोर ओनली वंस इन द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ टाइम सो इफ यू गो टू माय वेबसाइट वेदिक रिनाइसेंस द फर्स्ट थिंग यू सी देयर इज दिस श्लोका नाउ व्हाई इन द यूनिवर्स ऑफ ओके द यूनिवर्स द श्रीमद् भागवतम हैज सो मेनी वर्सेस माय गॉड व्हाई हैव आई सिलेक्टेड दैट वर्स यस बिकॉज़ दैट in my opinion is the most important verse in the bhagavatam yes everybody has their own opinions but in my personal opinion that verse is very important because that will keep you grounded always yes now what is the meaning of this verse tatte anukampam susumikshamano bhunjan evatma kritam vipakam lord brahma is praying to lord vishnu that oh god whoever and hear this carefully this is not any ordinary person all right this is not even a rishi lord brahma himself is speaking so we must hear this with rapt attention yes brahma ji himself is telling oh my dear lord vishnu whoever accepts the difficulties that comes upon himself as a product of his or her own karma and rejoices and smiles that person is eligible to claim liberation should i repeat that person is eligible to claim liberation that means brahma ji is telling 
that if you are grateful for whatever happens to you in life and with a smile you tell god thank you very much <laughs> then you can go and tell to god oh god i am claiming that you liberate me you deliver me from this material existence that is the power of gratitude yes but if you are not at that frequency then you don't have any right to claim liberation to god yes you cannot claim god that oh please liberate me from this <laughs> and lord brahma is telling this that means he is telling that whatever happens to us is because of our own karma yes so at the present moment whatever is happening good or bad it is simply that which is coming back to us which we did to others yes many times people tell me oh that girl cheated on me oh that boy exploited me they is that so many things yes but the question is they cannot do that unless we have given them uh, or somebody else that level of suffering yes only then it comes back to us otherwise it doesn't happen because as they say no law of energy law of energy right <laughs> everything is balanced so if you give out negativity that will come back to you now some people will argue that oh i have never done anything bad to anybody in this life well that may be true but who knows what you have done in previous life times right so that's how we realize that whatever good or bad is happening to us and generally what happens we focus on the bad more yes so gratitude becomes much more easier when we understand that we are not a victim yes so many people in this world like to play the victim card oh the professor did this my wife did this my husband did this my boyfriend did this my girlfriend did this my father did this my mother did this if only that person would have not done this i would have been successful if only this would have happened that would have happened oh my goodness so many pros and cons so the thing is when we realize that whoever is doing anything bad to us that is simply because we did something yes then we come at peace then we understand that oh that person is not the culprit it is i who am the culprit yes that person is just the medium as the sena madhyam that person is just like a postman who is coming and delivering you the karma yes oh you did this 10 lifetimes ago you raped a woman and in this life you become a woman and somebody comes and rapes you yes 10 lifetimes back suppose you murdered somebody in this life that person takes birth as your husband <laughs> and he's beating you day and night the moment he comes from office he starts beating you yes family violence or maybe the opposite the wife starts beating i know so many people who tell me that oh my wife abuses me you know physically but verbal abuse yes as it happened <laughs> or sometimes it happens that the father or the mother they are abusing the child yes i know one a lady she called me and said that when she was young when she was a kid then her mother used to take her to the bathroom and she used to beat her beat her beat her and she used to say that from the time you are born our family's reputation money name fame happiness everything is going down yes so she always keeps telling that oh why did this happen why did that devil take birth as my mother <laughs> so that's not devil or that's not your mother that's simply another person who you tormented in past lives that person has taken birth as your mother yes why i am giving these examples because these are extreme examples yes and this can manifest in any way so, suppose we are walking on the road somebody may come and do something to us which we don't like yes somebody may steal our phone so that doesn't mean that if uh, somebody is uh, giving you threats you don't go to the police i'm not saying it. what i'm saying is we need to do that externally but internally we have to understand for our inner engineering that it is simply happening because i had done something like that so i am responsible so when we take responsibility for our uh, wrong doings from the past then we understand that nobody is the culprit it is i myself who is the culprit yes so then it becomes very easy to be grateful for the things that we have otherwise we will always be playing the victim card always i have seen people oh this happened that happened that is not healthy for our uh, spiritual life even for our material life yes and let me talk about materialistic things here 
people say oh i don't have this i don't have that but if you have time someday just google how many percent of the world of the people of this planet they live below the poverty line yes if you have time someday take out some moments and google this and you will see the answer how much percentage of the people they are eating garbage they are eating crap they are not having access to water what to speak of having a iphone or what to speak of having a macbook like this <laughs> or what to speak of anything there are so many people who are not having access to basic health requirements there are many people who are staying in one meal a day in this planet yes there are so many people like that there are so many people i know I mean, not personally, but there are so many people I have seen and I have seen them experiencing and going through all these traumas. You know? There are cases where somebody has got married and the next day the husband is dead. Yes, can you imagine? The plight of a lady, especially in a country like India. Yes, today you are married and tomorrow your husband is dead for some other reason. Or sometimes it happens that weddings are taking place and this somebody who dies it has happened in uh, one of my friend's family that one of his relative was about to get married and then that grandfather of that uh, bride she passed away uh, he passed away that grandfather and then the entire wedding was cancelled and as per indian rules for one year you cannot have any auspicious ceremony if somebody is dead so his wedding got delayed by one year can you imagine that's very serious so we may have a bad marriage we may not have a very good marriage, but at least we are married. <laughs> there are many people who I know who are crying, crying, crying. Oh, when will I get married? When will I find somebody? Yes, I fall in love. Then that person ditches me. They thrash me. They sexually exploit me. They will use me and then they will spit me out of their face and they will throw me as if they never knew me. Yes, there are people like this. Or there are those people crying on Valentine's Day. Oh my God, I am single. When will I find somebody? <laughs> yes, or oh, there are people crying. When will I get my ex-boyfriend back? My ex-girlfriend, when she will come back? Yes, there are people belonging to all these domains. My God. And then some of us, we are married. <laughs> Happily married sometimes, but we are like, I don't like that person. If only I would be married to somebody else, life would be so better, right? No, it would have never happened. It would still be the same because even if you marry another person, the karma is the same, right? So whatever is there in the karma, that person will make sure that you get it. Yes. And the same karma, this person will also make, also make sure. Now, this does not mean that there, if there are some problems, you stay in an abusive relationship. I'm not saying that. But in principle, you have to understand that the law of karma is universal. Yes. If you are undergoing some suffering, that is because of our own karma. Yes. So, when we realize that, we can understand that we are not entitled to everything. Should I repeat? We are not entitled to everything. Yes. So, generally what happens? Why we are not grateful is, suppose... I go out and I am waiting for the bus and the bus didn't come. Then what happens? I get very angry because I feel that the entire universe is revolving around me. Yes, the bus should come on time. Why? Not because it is Germany or India. Because I am the one who is supposed to sit in the bus, right? It is because of me the bus should come on time. And in the scriptures we have the epic example of Duryodhana in Mahabharata. It is said that Duryodhana did not used to uh, take uh, the umbrella above his head because he could not tolerate anything which is above than him. Can you imagine what a level of egomaniac this person was? I mean, what's there if you take an umbrella, right? But he would not take that. That's what is said about him. He was so egoistic. He thought everything is his property. Yes, there's another epic example from the Ramayana. Yes, who is that? Ravana is the epic example. He used to think everything in this world is like a supermarket yes whenever he will want he will go and just uh, pick up somebody oh i like sita so i will take her yes <laughs> whatever i want i will do so when we have this complex of entitlement then gratitude cannot flourish in our heart 
yes and how to give up this entitlement complex we have to read the scriptures we have to associate ourselves with the holy people the holy sages saints rishis sadhus gurus whoever is there in the kali yuga today and when we hear from them when we hear their message then we will realize one thing how great god is as in the first canto of shrimad bhagavatam it is said tene brahma hridayaadi kavaye muhyanti yat suraya tejo vari mridam yatha vinimayo stri sargo mrisha and the first line is janmadyasya yaton vyad italata charthesu abhigya swarat this swarat what is very important this means abhigya swarat means lord vishnu he is supremely independent he does not need anybody <laughs> yes so when we realize that god is the ultimate proprietor controller and enjoyer of everything then we become peaceful that's what is said in the gita that's the peace formula yes otherwise if we think we are very important in this world yes see we are very good but that doesn't mean we are great it's great to be good but it's not good to be great so that repeat <laughs> it's great to be good but it's not good to be great we should always try to be good we should never try to be great yes should i repeat oh no that's enough always we should try that we do good activities yes we should always try that we follow the right path like yudhishthira maharaj perfect example dharmaraj never ever he compromised on religious principles never ever yes even if he would die he would still not do it yes all else we can follow somebody like duryodhana who was the epitome the crest jewel of all the negative qualities who always had this sense of entitlement yes i am the son of this king so i should sit in the throne so to the degree we want to sit in the throne to that degree we will lack gratitude because then we think everything is meant for us right yes why does a girl gets obsessed when the husband or the boyfriend is not giving that some uh, spe- specific or quality time because she thinks that she is a queen right she deserves everything this man is mine whatever i say he should do if it doesn't do i'll kill him yes. <laughs> that doesn't mean she will kill him but she kills him mentally <laughs> yeah so that's what is happening there you think that that person or this girl or this boy is meant for you yes that controllership mentality is there and when that is not happening you are frustrated and when the moment there is frustration there cannot be any gratitude yes so the remedy the biggest the easiest remedy for gratitude is to understand that we have much more than we deserve should i repeat we have much more than we deserve especially if you are seeing this video you have a mobile you have a laptop and you have a internet connection for god sake many people don't have that yes so understand the things that we have and for that something very easy we can do which my guru had suggested the moment we get up we write using a pen and a paper how many good things happened to me yesterday yes because that what then what happens we force ourselves to see the good things yes suppose somebody had sent us a message yesterday how are you Yes, that's a very big thing. Now you may say, "Oh, what's there? No, just another message. How are you?" No, there are people I know who are dying to see a message from somebody. How are you? Kaise ho? Jinda ho? Mar gaye? As in German, they say, "We get." <laughs> many people don't get these messages. I am telling you, there are so many people who do not get this message. How are you? There are so many people who are waiting. oh i wish i would have got a message from somebody how are you there are people who tell me i wish my dead mother she would have messaged me some day how are you but she will never message me i know that i wish my dead husband would have messaged me yes i wish my mother would have messaged or my son yes sometimes i have seen people their young son perished in an accident so they are also dying that some day somewhere somebody will send them this message yes how are you but nobody sends them so if yesterday you got a message from somebody how are you then write it down tomorrow morning 
<laughs> in fact now and here itself you take a pen and you write it five things i am grateful for yesterday write it this person this boy this girl asked me how are you write it now <laughs> if you ate something yesterday if you let something go inside your body write it you must write it because there are many people who don't get it yes there are people who are taking garbage yes go and see in the streets so many people loitering they don't have anything to eat so if you ate anything palatable yesterday or anything at all then write it in the paper yes if you talk to your parents yesterday write it in the paper many people don't get the chance to talk yes many people want oh my father passed 20 years back if only i could talk to him once my mother passed last year if only i could talk to her once no not everybody gets that chance yes many people their husbands or their wives they perish so if you are in a relationship with somebody who is even decent then write it write it now <laughs> you are very lucky if you have that yes if you have parents you have a husband or wife you are very lucky you have some friends who ask you yes like i have three four friends rough uh, thankfully god has given one of my friend he is in delhi that day he messaged me oh how are you i was like yes good <laughs> <laughs> at least somebody is asking me how i am right so i also wrote it in the paper yes this person asked me how are you that's very big thing and when 3 4 hours back my mother just called me and said oh everything is fine with you i am going to sleep <laughs> i'm like yes man it's great my mother is still alive i can talk to her she can't do that my grandmother is not alive but i can do that yes so i am fortunate <laughs> i can talk to my brother he is existing so i am fortunate i can talk to my guru my god i am the most fortunate person so many gurus i have i can just take the phone and i can just call them and all my problems will vanish everything will disappear i am so fortunate how many people are there who are fortunate like me so as they say count your blessings you will find something or the other see it is just a matter of what you want to see yes because as i say the glass even if there is half water you can say oh the glass is half empty or the glass is half full so it is up to you what you want to see yes so suppose something bad happens to you yes but there will be thousands of other good things that is also happening to you so you have to force yourself to see the good otherwise it will not happen yes so that is how you cultivate gratitude you write down every morning yes what five good things happened to you yesterday and along with that you also do good to others then also the universe will send you good things back yes now if you expect that everything good will happen to you and you are going on terrorizing others yes then that's not going to work out yes in long run if you expect that your partner always sends you a good morning message or a good night message yes and you never send them then also that's not going to work <laughs> because love means reciprocation always remember this love means reciprocation when you love somebody you always reciprocate yes you may not reciprocate in the same tone yes suppose somebody is paying the bill for you you may not pay the bill back in the same uh, tone but you may give them something else yes so that's reciprocation not necessarily in the same tone in the same language in the same quantity but in some other way yes because everybody is human they understand things if animals can understand love why humans can't understand yes so if we only expect that good things happen to us but we don't do things then it doesn't work like that so we write the good things which happen to us and we also do good and we read the scriptures and we understand how great god is then our entitlement will go down as in hindi they say na apni aukat kabhi nahi bhulni chahiye never forget where you belong 
and sometimes we think that we are very great yes so then what we should do is we should just see our weaknesses just see how we behave when we see the opposite sex yes no comments <laughs> just see yourself when you get angry yes how miserable you look just see imagine somebody clicks your photo when you are angry it's terrible right and somebody uploads it in instagram oh my goodness that's it that person is dead yes so we when we understand our own flaws our own weaknesses our own drawbacks our own shortcomings then we will realize that this world is not made for us yes and then we will stop playing the victim card when we understand that Tate Anukampa, it is your Anukampa, oh Lord Vishnu, that Anukampa means grace, blessing. That by your grace, whatever I did is coming back to me. Yes. And then I, when I smile and say thank you, okay, this thing happened to me. Thank you. Because whatever we did is coming back to us. Yes. And by that, we become peaceful inside. And then, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita, Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Labhate Param that we see everything and everybody equally. We do not distinguish. We do, uh, sorry, we do not uh, discriminate. We do not become judgmental. Yes, we see everything equally. So we become a Samadarshi, which is a very important quality for a yogi. Samadarshi means one who sees everything equally. For a Samadarshi, a yogi, there is no difference between a cat and a girl a boy and a dog there's no difference some other she will see everything equally yes so then we become a some other she and as lord krishna says in the gita brahma bhuta prasanna atma naso chati natang chati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti milavate param when one is completely peaceful that time he attains the paramatma stage that time he sees me <laughs> yes so when we read the scriptures, we chant the mantras, we associate with holy people, we visit holy places, we go there. Yes. And we learn why, especially if you go to places like Tirupati, we go and check the places, yes, which Anantacharya had made for Tirupati. Yes, that garden, beautiful garden which he had made. Do you know the story of Anantacharya and Balaji? If somebody knows, please write it down. If you don't know, then... Maybe I'll make it, uh, make another video on that. So, when you go to holy places, make sure that you learn and you understand the significance of that place and the great personalities associated with that place. Yes. Otherwise, going to a holy place is sometimes just like another honeymoon trip. Yes. So, we should ensure that it doesn't happen. And by that, we can understand that life is not that bad. <laughs> and always try to be good. Don't try to be great. Don't try to think that, oh, if I do this, I will get something. Mm -hmm. Give up the expectation that the world owes anything to you. Give up the expectation. Because if you have that expectation, like Duryodhana, entitlement. Yes, yes, yes. I am entitled to this. I am a VVIP. I am the son of an IS officer. I am the son of a um, police officer. I am the son of Bill Clinton. I am the son of Sachin Tendulkar. That is why I should get that. That special seat is reserved for me. How come that person is sitting? Then gratitude cannot be cultivated. Yes. And we have to meet those people who are always grateful. Yes. If you are meeting people who are only gossiping or trying to pull others down. Yes. Then you will also behave like them. Then how can you cultivate gratitude? That's not possible. So you have to meet People who are in the mode of goodness, sattvaguna, sattvic people, yes, who are not interested in talking about the opposite sex or who won the cricket match or who is going to win the next election, who are only interested in talking about the truths of life, athato brahma jigyasa, as the Srimad Bhagavatam says, Vedanta Sutra's conclusion, athato brahma jigyasa, at least now you inquire about the higher truth, enough of this cat and dog business. <laughs> Now you at least inquire about the higher truth. So when you meet holy people, holy sages, saints, then when you see that whatever happens to them, they are always calm. When you go and hear from them, when you take enlightenment, then you realize God has given us much more than we deserve. <laughs> yes. And at the end you realize that Lord Krishna says that I am the most well-wishing friend of everybody. 
सूर्य सर्वभूता ज्ञावा मां शांति मृक्षति वेन अ पर्सन अंडरस्टैंड दिस ही अटेन्स शांति पीस काम कूल देन यू लाइक बाहर में जाओ जो होता है होने दो वट एवर हैपन्स लेट इट हैपन इवन इफ आई डाई नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज गॉड इज देर ही विल टेक केयर ऑफ मी आई एम नथिंग टू वरी ऑल राइट सो दैट इज इट फ्रॉम माई साइड आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी पॉइंट्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स पॉइंट्स में भी दैट इज हाउ यू डील विथ lack of gratitude and this is how you cultivate gratitude all right so there you go how to cultivate gratitude if you are new to the channel then please subscribe and if you want a consultation then approach me to my website preferably and if you want me to make any other video then also let me know or else that is it from my side bye bye i hope that you cultivate all of the gratitude by writing it every day okay what good happened to you and what good you did okay both the things you must do all right until next time bye bye see you